Our laws in the state of Maine, our standards, our water quality standards, state that in rivers with migratory fish, which require the ability to safely move up and down the river, that an activity does not prevent them from doing so because we know that migratory fish, if they can't go to salt water, they don't live. They have to go back and forth safely to the sea. It's just as important to them as oxygen into water. On the Kennebec, I'm just going to use this for a second. This is a basic. You can swing it around so the other parties yeah, can see it too. I just, I just drew up a basic schematic right here, very, very easy, rough. This is the Kennebec River. The Big Bend, this is Skowhegan, this is Norwich Walk, this is the Sandy River coming in. Augusta is down here, we're down here. Just a very basic <clears throat> map. Here are the four dams that we're talking about today. There's Weston at Skowhegan, that's Shawman in Fairfield, that's Hydro Kennebec in Waterville, that is Lockwood in Waterville. These are the four dams. This is the Kennebec, and this is the Sandy. Now, for, let's say, an American eel that has to go to the ocean to give birth, an adult American eel um, that resides somewhere up in here, okay, it has to swim past all of these dams to make it to the ocean to give birth. Now, as our written testimony shows, there have been two studies thus far on the Kennebec River to determine how many eels make it past a dam alive to continue their migration. One was done at the Lockwood Dam, and another one was done at the Benton Falls Dam on the Sebastocook River. These were done in 2001 in 2002. Um, they were small. What they did is they radio tagged live eels and released them above the dams and followed them to see what happened. Because of the cost of the transmitters and the difficulty in getting eels, they only could get a small number, less than a dozen. So it's a small, what they call a small sample size. But the results were essentially that about half of the eels made it. The other half didn't. Now, I want to get my little chart here. So we're starting out with the only information we have thus far on, the, on this river system shows that half the eels make it past the dam alive. Now, let's take 10,000 eels above Skowhegan. Start out with 10,000. Assuming 50%, they go by Weston. Well, we lose half. They hit Shawman. We lose half. They hit Hydro Kennebec. We lose half. They hit Lockwood, we lose half. Over the course of several days, we have gone from 10,000 living female eels to 625. And we've had 9,300. We have now had a fish kill of 9,375 fish, assuming we started off with 10,000 up here. That is a 94% death rate. 94% of the eels die just swimming from Skowhegan to Waterville, which is about a half hour drive. 